Okay, let's get started with part six, the final part of the series, because I'm going away from Pattaya for, for a little while. I'm going to go to Northeast Thailand, also known as Isan. I've never been before. Um, I feel like it's uh, going to be worth doing. Pattaya, yeah, Pattaya is great and all that, but I think there's uh, better things to be vlogging about. And there's plenty of people already doing this sort of vlog. Uh, so I'm going to check it out. Uh, anyway, let's start with the this this video. We're going to do a cost cost of living comparison. Uh, I'm going to be comparing it to the UK because that's where I'm from, uh, not London. Not London, no. Uh, anyway, so we'll start with the obvious one, the ladies. Uh, as you can see there, paying for the time only. Let's keep this above board. Uh, less than half the price in Thailand. Uh, just a quick note as well. I'm not going for the you know extreme rock bottom prices or the maximum prices. I'm going for sort of averages. Um, you know, good value for money, good services, good products. Uh, so yeah, we're just doing the laundry now. I'll put the prices for that later, but. Currently, we're going to look at the condo prices. Uh, so, here it is with utilities included, fifteen thousand baht. Same sort of thing where I'm from. You know, more than double, or nearly double for that for that kind of apartment. You're looking at six hundred and fifty quid a month, easy. Uh, laundry again. Thailand wins out. Uh, I mean, it's not that drastic, but you know, <laughs> nearly half price again. And that's for a sort of typical wash load. Uh, I think I did five or six kgs there, as an example. Obviously, it can range. You know, some might do it for forty baht a kilo. Some might be more like sixty. Uh, but laundry is one way. You don't really shop it around, you just kind of go to the one that's convenient to you. Oh, eating out. Uh -huh. Now this is sort of like restaurant style eating out. Uh, so you had one bill for eight something, one bill for five something. Uh, I'm going to average it out though for these three restaurants that I've just shown. Uh, it comes to an average of 675 baht. Uh, I've gone for Typical UK price of about 25 quid for a meal for two in a, in a normal sort of restaurant. Uh, pizza takeaway. Now this is an interesting one. This this is one of the, the rare occasions where Thailand is actually more expensive um, than England. So I've gone for sort of, this is a proper Italian style uh, restaurant slash takeaway. Uh, so I've obviously done the equivalent. So I ordered a pizza, like like the one she's doing there, um, a pasta, and a French fries, and it came to six hundred and sixty baht, sixteen quid. I can get the same thing where I'm from for slightly less, as you can see, fourteen quid. Uh, street food we don't really have that in England, uh, but it is a good cheap thing in Thailand. Uh, two people can eat this for one hundred eighty baht. I'm going to compare it to sort of like a burger van. Uh, as you can see, it's almost double the cost of a burger van burger for two people. And, you know, and the fries. Uh, this is a more sort of cheap, authentic Thai restaurant for the Thai people. Uh, very cheap, £7, 290 baht for all this food you see here. Uh, 18 quid, I've done the UK comparison. That's sort of like one of those you know, dingy curry places where you can take your own cans of beer. So I've done it based on that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, eating out in Thailand is is cheaper, but the sort of Western style foods, you can expect to pay more, you know, like your pizzas and your burgers. 
so this is just a bit of a home cooking video. I didn't put any price comparisons on. Uh, I found it a bit too difficult to work out. I want to say it's similar. You know, your groceries are similar. If you, if you shop properly in either country, your sort of grocery prices are going to be similar. So I've just put this in. It's a bit of filler. We can have a little chat. Uh, obviously cooking, uh, it's not it's not ideal for me in Thailand, but I've got this lady who can do it for me. Uh, so that's handy. And I don't, I, I fancy myself as a bit of a chef back home, but when I'm out here, cooking's the last thing on my mind. It's, it's too hot and too hot and everything like that, you know. Uh, look at that. So that, that whole dish may be what? 100 baht or less once you've like divided all the ingredients up that you've bought. You don't use a great deal. A bit of this and a bit of that. And look what you've got. Mmm. Tasty. Alloy. Uh, so yeah, tip, tips to save money, you know. Uh, ATM is going to charge 220 baht per transaction. If you've got cash, then you can take it to to the exchange, get a good rate, get the best rate, get the best rates in Thailand. Uh, here's a good one. This is the um, well, I'm getting the bike washed in this clip, uh, but I've actually I've taken the car here. I've, I've hired a car and taken it here, and it was um, yeah, 200 baht to get the full valet. Not just the outside, but the, the inside as well, you know. Um, in the UK, they're not going to touch. They're not going to touch it for less than twenty quid. They're not going to, you know. You can get the outside done for the same, but they're not going to touch it. Labor cost in Thailand uh, is so much less, which is why these sort of service things are a lot cheaper. Look, this haircut, just a hundred baht, two pound fifty. The cheapest one you're going to get in England is seven quid. Uh, three times more expensive. The cheapest. I know people pay a lot more than that as well. Uh, you know, these pretty boys will pay 15 quid, 20 quid for, for the hairdo and the beard grooming, you know. Uh, again, this is like a sort of service. Uh, massage. Foot massage for one hour. Just 150 baht. Uh, UK massage price... It's, it's more of a full body massage you get in the UK. I've not really seen foot massage availability. Um, but yeah, they're charging, what, 25? 25 pound an hour. And this is just like, what, £3.50? 150 baht? £3.50 or thereabouts. Talking seven times less. I've made a mistake on that overlay, haven't I? It's not £2.50, it's £3.50. Yeah, seven or eight times cheaper. I think that's probably one of the most significant um, differences so far. So yeah, the car wash, the haircut and the massage all sort of uh, labour intensive. And you can really see how the lack of a minimum wage in Thailand, uh, sh you know, it goes to show. Uh, it's, it's just me... Um, I went to buy a sort of selfie stick. Uh, bit of haggling. She wanted three ninety. Yeah, discount love. <laughs> so yeah, that's a sort of tip. If you if you're in a situation like this, you can you can haggle, you can get a discount. That's not to say that you can do it everywhere. I mean, don't be going into Seven Eleven. And haggling for your bottles of Leo or whatever. Uh, I think they'll just look at you funny. Ah, petrol. That's an interesting one. 30 baht a litre in Thailand. 55 baht a litre in England. Nearly half price again. And you don't have to pump it yourself. Uh, convenience shopping. Water. Water, it's not optional. So you have to buy it. Good job it's cheap. 60p in the UK, 35p in Thailand. Beer. This is one where I've um, found it to be, you know, exactly the same. A convenience store beer, one pound twenty. Uh, bulk beer, 
that's another rare occurrence. It's actually cheaper in the UK, the bulk beer from the supermarkets and stuff. Um, oh yeah, but the beer in the bars, you're not going to beat the Thai price. It's half. It's, it's easily half. But you soon get carried away with it. Uh, if you end up buying a couple of lady drinks on top, uh, you, you've negated your savings, but never mind. It's, it's all a bit of fun, isn't it? A bit of a laugh. Oh, this one's horrible. Brutal. Deodorant. And this is a two-pack from Big C, so it's the best value, and it was still £3 for that 150ml bottle. Oh, Siggy's four times cheaper. Too highly taxed in the UK. Uh, yeah, I think that was sort of the the last the last clip there, and I just wanted to talk about leaving Pattaya for about a month uh, to to visit Isan, and after that we're going to Vietnam because my visa will be done by then. My extension, I don't want to say visa because that's incorrect. Uh, my extension will be finished by then, so I need to leave. Uh, so I thought I might as well make the most of it. I'll have a look around Vietnam. I've never been there before either. Uh, hopefully get some good vlogs out of it. <laughs> I mean, I've been you know cutting my teeth in Pattaya. Uh, it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. You know, you've got to do, you've got to get all your filming done. You know, think about what you're going to film. Then you've got to get it onto your computer. <laughs> And you've got to edit it, you know, make it watchable, make it entertaining or factual or both, preferably. Uh, there's there's a lot of work that goes into it, and then I still haven't got my website up and running properly. I mean, it's it's live; you can look at it, but it's not got much content on there. Uh, yeah, there's just so much to do, and then uh, when I'm going to be travelling around this, and there's going to be even less time because. You know, a lot, of, a lot of time is going to be spent on the road. And I'll be in and out of um, sort of hotels, guest houses. Uh, so far, so good with the Wi-Fi, though. Wi-Fi in Thailand is really good. Um, but yeah, you know, moving about, it's going to make it a little bit more challenging again. Uh, but you know, travel vlog, <laughs> travel vloggers have to do that, don't they? I'll be like David Attenborough and just sit sit in a studio, have someone filming for us. We're not all that privileged, are we? Yeah, anyway, so we're just heading down here, following the Pattaya police. I think I'm going to go for a quick drink in Extra Bar. And uh, that should be the end of the video. So I hope you found it interesting, the, the price comparison, cost of living in Thailand versus the UK. Uh, the next video should be yeah, sort of not not quite Isan, but on the way to Isan, I think we're gonna have a stop stop in Koh Chang. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in a few days.